Hi, I'm Sean Hessinger, and this is Small Biz in 15, the show where we bring you small business success in 15 minutes or less. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the show. Some small business owners may be too close to their brands to realize exactly what it is their customers value most about their product or service. Some barely understand what marketing is at all. That's okay though, because author and entrepreneur Jim Kugel will open your eyes to a whole new way of marketing your business you never even thought of before. Stay tuned. What I thought is was cool is this idea, because we have this idea of um, of of differentiate uh, differentiation of setting yourself apart from the competition, which yeah. I think is harder than most people realize. Because it, it uh, I mean. I guess it depends what you're selling or what you're marketing or whatever, but I think that a lot of people um, don't realize just how hard it is to distinguish yourself from what everybody else is already doing. Well, businesses and people are too close to their own brands. You're good at being, you know, a painter. You're not a marketer. You know, that's one thing I realized in 25 years of doing this is, first of all, people hate marketing. It's a bad word, right? And, and nobody wants to be a marketer. There was a slide deck I used to use in presentations of the, the 25, like most respected jobs at the top was like, you know, nurse, you know, and, you know, somebody who runs a charity and at the bottom, like right above attorneys was like marketer, right? Like, like they don't like that idea. So the concept that you have to like marketing and you have to be a marketer when you're good at painting houses is ridiculous. And you're also too close to your own brand. You may talk to people every single day, but at the end of the day, you're not, you don't think like a marketer. So you don't know why people are choosing you. The, you know, a great example is Nike. Um, Nike doesn't sell golf balls. Nike doesn't sell t-shirts. They sell winning. Okay. You don't sell what you think you do. A, a painter doesn't sell straight lines, right? A painter sells the, uh, uh, the ability to have improved beautiful home or whatever they're painting, but they also sell comfort. You're inviting a person into your home, right? That's why companies, professional companies still wear uniforms and, have scheduling apps and used in upgrade because you're inviting a person into your home. You're paying them money, but you want to feel safe. They sell something different. So a person in the suburbs might go, yeah, well, this company is $200 cheaper, but I don't want those people walking around in my house because, you know, they, they you've got a dirty old van or what, you know, it's like, that's why people make decisions to purchase is things like that. So th there are differentiators and you don't have to be marketers to do it. The other thing you were talking about was not just story, but also actually what you do. And the idea that most people who say they do all like the same thing as everybody else that, that they're not really thinking yeah. about how they're actually differentiated. I mean, there's actually not that many businesses that are, I, I mean, that are, total commodities like even when you think about i i don't know how the number i can't tell you the number of business consultants and or advisors i've worked with but i've never met two that have the same piece of advice anyway so i'm not sure why people think that when they're they they're marketing all of a sudden they forget what their what their factor what their differentiation factor is when you talk about being too close to your own brand those are the things you miss and if you don't talk to your customers, you'll never know. People don't think of that as marketing, do they? I mean, they don't actually. Yeah, what you were saying about people don't like marketing, probably because they don't even know what it is. No, people don't. They they think marketing is you know, you know, creating an ad or flyer in the old days or whatever. But nowadays things are different, right? Nowadays, it's digital. Nowadays, it's word of mouth. The digital water cooler is, you know, your phone and social media now. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, it's it's not the phone book anymore like you and I grew up with, right? That was how you found stuff. Now it's who's your plumber on Facebook. That's what it is. Or Google Maps or ask your phone who find me plumbers near my location. That's how it works now. 
that's marketing now, by the way. Marketing is is having reviews because people are like, okay, well, there's five plumbers here, and this one has more reviews on Google than the other one. You know, this one's got an easy website and a, a web app. You know, this one has an app that I can download that's going to do this and this. The other one's going to make me call and do all this. You know, tow truck companies is a perfect example of this. If you ever have to call for a tow truck company now, it's all digital. There's no, like, you don't call the the the, the tow truck person. You can, but it's all done by app. You see where the tow truck is. It's like an Uber. Is it going to be at your location soon? How long is it going to take till it gets to you? It's not like you're sitting on the curb smoking cigarettes for three hours waiting for the, remember the old days? Like, that's how it used to be. <laughs> But you're not one of those millennials I was talking about, the people with all the money. They're not doing business with old pick up the phone, wait for them to show up for three hours person. They're doing the business with the one that has this, and that's marketing. That's marketing is having that ability to communicate that you have an app and you're doing all this stuff. One aha realization that you could give a small business owner in terms of in terms of differentiating from the competition and something that most people, maybe 99% of the people that you talk to never think about in terms of differentiating their business, what, what would it be? Or Nobody remembers the middle. Nobody remembers the middle. They don't. So there are 10 accountants in your Northeast Ohio neighborhood Nobody remembers the one in the middle. People remember the ones on the edges. Why? Who did this different, better? Okay. It's the same thing. You know it. The problem is, again, that we already talked about is you don't think that you can differentiate than all of them. You can. It's going to require effort. But if you want to be known and you want to just stay here, stay fine in the middle. You're fine. You'll have a nice long-term, slow, steady growth business for your dry cleaner for the next 30 years. Nothing wrong with that. Want to own the competition? Get out of the middle. Go one way or the other way. Do something. And, and something does not mean lower price and free shipping. Those are givens and standards in today's world. Right? There's no... There's no, like, everybody expects that now, right? People are, you know, people aren't going, well, I'm going to go there. It's actually the opposite now. People will pay more to mm. get exactly what they want and buy from people that they share, know, like, and trust opinions and values with. They will go out of their way. Imagine getting and raising your fees twice two, three times and having more customers because they're like, I want to go to you. So, so it's, it's not, it's that don't, don't be in the middle. Nobody remembers the middle. Can you think of anything that we, uh, any other real lightning bolt piece of wisdom that you could share? Um, one of the things that I've been working on lately is the concept of creating content creating marketing and this this is kind of something i've been thinking about the minute you stop worrying about outcomes is the minute you start really creating powerful content and an outcome is a click or a subscription or a view or a download this is really from a marketer's perspective. If you're watching this and you, you're one of those people is like, oh, we're trying to create this content to, to accomplish this. You, the minute you stop worrying about those things is the minute you'll start creating some really remarkable things because you are no longer burdened with trying to do something for somebody else. You're doing what you want to do, what makes sense to you. Uh, every great play or show, um, book or whatever was written by an original thinker who just thought this is what I want to do. Here's the problem. And this is something that I was right in the middle of in the world that I grew up in with marketing with the internet is we all 
got into this mindset where we had to create clicks and articles and use certain words and you know right type this way and, and we created this machine of mindset and content listicles right and all this stuff so we're just churning out things that are not remarkable and the minute you stop worrying about those things is the minute you really create content and businesses that can change things. So that's what I would start thinking about is what do you want? What what makes sense to you? Stop worried about what other people are thinking about, even your boss. Well, that's it for another episode of Small Biz in 15. Thanks again to Jim Kukrell, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. And please leave a comment and let us know what topics you'd like to see covered in future programs. For more small business news and tips, join us at smallbiztrends.com.